Welcome back everyone to yet another Warframe guide. Today Rhino will be the one under the spotlight. Featuring high durability alongside excellent crowd control and support skills is what makes Rhino the Warframe of choice for both solo and team players alike. A true juggernaut at his core, Rhino can both take and dish out heavy punishment as needed. And contrary to popular belief, he isn't a Warframe only for noobs. So the thing is Rhino is a very adaptable frame if you fiddle with his build a little. He can fill quite a few roles and specialize in them very well. He can be an insane damage buffer or a crowd controller or even a tank. Here's the build I use, centered around crowd control with stomp, but can be used to tank and support as well if needed. Rhino Charge allows him to spearhead through enemy ranks, throwing them aside and causing damage to all struck by it, while also making Rhino immune to damage for as long as the animation lasts. If Rhino recasts the skill in quick succession, he will receive a damage, range and energy cost reduction multiplier that stacks two times, allowing him to deal up to 400% increased damage, have 150% increased range and reducing the energy cost by 75%. Here's a nice trick, having at least two points in Xenoric Focus's passive energy regen coupled with an energy regen aura and 75% power efficiency allows you to use Rhino Charge forever because you simply cannot lose energy to due to the high energy regen, and nothing is quite as fun as ragdolling enemies around 24-7. The Augment Ironclad Charge makes it so that every enemy hit by the dash increases Rhino's armor rating by 50% for 10 seconds further reinforcing Rhino's tanky nature. Iron Skin encases Rhino in a shell that protects from all damage and crowd control effects. Damage taken in the first 4 seconds after the cast gets converted into extra health for the skin that further increases its durability. Power Strength and Rhino's total armor affect the health of the skin as well. Using Rhino Charge while the Iron Skin is active makes all enemies hit by the charge receive a blast at the sprock, and if Ironclad Charge Augment is equipped, this also doubles as a health buffer for Iron Skin. Since Ironclad Charge increases Rhino's armor rating and the Iron Skin cast after that draws from Rhino's armor pool, which is now much higher. Also, because of this skill, I believe I might have found the reason why Rhino is considered a noob frame. I'll let you guys be the judge on this one. Hmm, they may be right. Anyway, moving onwards. Roar allows Rhino to unleash an AoE buff that increases all damage dealt by him and his allies for a certain period of time, making him a very easy and reliable source of damage increase in a party. Power duration, range and strength all affect Roar as well. The augment piercing Roar allows Rhino to apply puncture proc on all enemies in range, making Rhino into a fairly good armor shredder when fighting the Grenier very solid skill, but it kind of lacks interaction. Rhino Stomp is Rhino's ultimate ability. He stomps the ground, sending enemies in an area around him airborne for 8 seconds, which is modified by power range and duration. And on top of it all, it does a fairly good amount of damage, which is modified by power strength. This is an incredibly useful survival tool and probably one of the most effective AoE crowd control spells in the entire game. The skill combos very well with two of his other abilities. Using Roar before stomping not only increases the stomp's damage, but if he also charge into levitating enemies they will take 100% increased damage from the charge, and if you hit them with the 400% charge multiplier, even a rhino build for support and crowd control like mine can still dish out some serious damage. When it comes to the conclave, rhino is slightly, well, neutered. His charge is more like a headbutt and doesn't provide immunity mid-cast, his iron skin decays slowly over time, his roar lasts only 20 seconds with a longer cast time, and his stomp doesn't suspend other tenno, but instead staggers them and massively slows them down for a bit. He may be slow, but his tankiness kind of makes up for it, especially coupled with the smart use of his skills. 
As of the making of this video, his charge is pretty useless, barely doing any damage, has no range whatsoever, and from what I can tell, doesn't even stagger anymore. Never mind. As for Iron Skin, well, it can truly shine if used at the right time. For example, if you know you're about to start a fight with a player that keeps handing your ass on an iron plate, pun intended, you can simply just use Iron Skin to try and soak up some extra damage, giving you a fighting chance. Or my favorite use of this skill is when I'm low health and an enemy thinks he has me, and then BAM, an extra layer of health to go through, which can really turn the tables in your favor. His roar, however, is a very simplistic skill. Press a button, receive damage buff. The most useful thing I found with the skill is that it can turn those near one-shot weapons into actual one-shot weapons, like the Q or Opticore. Not much else going for this skill though, just watch out for the long cast time. As for Stomp, well, it's a good skill if you actually manage to hit someone, because it kind of suffers with the same long cast time and small range that Frost's Avalanche has. However, it does good damage and if that doesn't kill someone, the insane slow it applies will surely be their demise moments after. So as you can see, Rhino is a very balanced Warframe, bringing pretty much everything to the table. Catering to beginners and veterans alike. Well, that's about it for today and I hope to see you all next time.